Josh, man, this is absolutely fantastic and game changer. And what we need in order for you to get us to get more people into the cybersecurity space, because as I continue to read about tech and positions and the future and so forth, like you said, Bureau of Labor Statistics has the cybersecurity space growing at 27%, right? We already know that there's not a lot of, um, you know, uh, people of color into the tech space and a lot of these positions. And this is an opportunity for people to get in and make a high salary, way above the median income, right? Because median income in the United States for, you know, anybody is $48,000. You got your first job in yeah. cybersecurity at 97. The uh, a SOC analyst role, the role that you can get if you graduate from this course and you actually you know, can uh, 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 have studied very well, you can make $97,000, guys, as a SOC analyst, information security analyst. So that's a lot of money. That puts you in a really good financial position to pay off student debt, to gain, uh, to buy your first home, whatever it is that you want to use that money for, but it's, it's here on the market right now, guys, go ahead and sign up. If you're interested in the cybersecurity. Um, and, uh, 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 we did this, we partnered together to make sure that we were going to be able to come to the market with something that was going to be valuable for a lot of people. And thus far, uh, people are getting a lot of value from it. We already have a number of students who've already gotten jobs. We already have a number of students who have gotten their certifications and so forth and is absolutely doing fantastic. Josh, um, you got a quick, uh, some more time for some quick questions and the super chats that people have uh, sent my way. Yeah, I, I suspect people are going to be asking questions. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go with the super chats first. We got a four ninety nine super chat from Mr. Damon, our brother Damon. He says, tired of being poor is a damn Good motivator. I love that you said that, Josh, early on, right? Like you wanted to make the change and you went into the tech space because you understood that this is a space that is lucrative. You can make a lot of money. And you yeah. knew that, you know, it wasn't going to come for free. You wasn't going to get money for free. So you had to go into a field that was going to be able to do that. So you chose that path. Uh, um, and you know what? There's no bigger money, no, no bigger motivator than money, right? You want, you don't want to be poor. You don't want to grow up in, yeah. you know, bad parts of town and stuff like that. Get into tech. Get into tech. I love that you said that, Damien. Um, Jay Jow 4040 says, what's IT in the Navy like day to day? I don't know if you can answer that, Josh. Did you end up getting into, going into the Navy? No, I, I didn't. I, oh, yeah. I, I didn't actually uh, do that. I just got the degree and then I just went and did something else. <laughs> um, I, I did I did work on a, a Marine Corps base uh, with Marines in Japan for a, a few months. And um, it wasn't that good. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, your your mileage may vary. It really depends on like what you're doing. Um if you if you want to do if you want to join the navy and like do something cool, um, look into CTN. Just Google like Navy CTN, and then I think there's like an Army equivalent and an Air Force equivalent. But the Navy is like um, it's kind of like where it's at. Uh, it's really cool. Just just look it up. You go through like a really um, cool training that you 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 know you can't pay to go through it. You have to be in the Navy, so it, it's pretty cool. Like Navy CTN, and then look up uh, CTN Ion, like C T N I O N. Um, and those are cool. Those jobs I I know are cool, but everything else, like I I, I don't really know. Yeah, no, not a, not an issue. We got a brother. Uh, his name is uh, Kamau, and he's in the U.S. Uh, Navy as well, and he's stationed in Japan right now. Um, and he's on oh, nice. this channel right now. It's, it, it's under the life of Cam. It's a great YouTube channel. Um, and he just graduated with his uh, master's in information technology management from Western Governors University. And he'll be able to tell oh, you nice. about all the things in the Navy from positions and tech positions and stuff like that. Uh, he's going to be making this transition out of it uh, relatively soon to get into the civilian world uh, because, you know, obviously there's a, a, a more lucrative opportunities that are there outside of the Navy. but um, he loves loves serving this country, uh, and is a fantastic young man, a fantastic young man, one of the Black Heights community members, and absolutely crushing it. I believe he said, based on the chat, he's in Laos right now. So uh, he's oh, he's nice. uh, uh, one of the things he asked too, Josh, which I want to ask you before I get to the rest of the super chats. He wants to be a digital nomad, 
And I know that's you right now. And a lot of people want that yeah. freedom and flexibility. Many of you guys don't know, Josh is in Japan right now. Um, and, you know, when I met Josh, I think he was in... <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Do it, do it, do it again, Josh. Do it again. I'm gonna put it, the, the camera on, directly on you. <laughs> Dried squid <laughs> from a Seven Eleven. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I love it. So, so Josh is. When I met Josh, I think he was in. Uh, he was in Japan, and then uh, he came back to the states for a while, and then he went back to Thailand, and then he went to Japan again. So he's traveling all over the place, and. He's been able to do that because of his job, right? The jobs that he's gotten um, and his education, but also the fact that he chose to go and become, or he chose to become an entrepreneur as well too, right? That's a huge part of it as well is, you know, he can have your W-2 job, but what are you doing outside of your W-2 job to earn additional income? And as I coach on this channel, create platforms. Create a platform where you can gain an audience. You know, if, if once you have an audience and you have the knowledge and you're in a tech space, you can build courses or you can build or, or, or coach or whatever it is that you can do in order for you to help people get to where they want to in their career because of your level of knowledge. And, and Josh has been able to do this at a high level. And I'm going to tell you like this. He does very well for himself. Um, Josh, can you talk about can you talk about like the whole digital nomad thing and 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 how you like that and if that was something that was on your radar and do you recommend it to people? Yeah, so um, in my opinion, I think well, I don't want to speak for everybody, but for me, my my mental health seems to be tied kind of directly to my autonomy to like you know be wherever I want and do wherever I want, and to be able to kind of have the freedom to go anywhere it just i'm happier in general so it's pretty nice um and i i would recommend it even if you don't want to do it i recommend putting yourself in the position to be able to do it um if that makes sense if you want to mm. um so, so what that means is um i guess if i make it really short basically like the the better you are and like the more skills you have the more value you provide even if your job is like not originally remote um it's possible for your employer to make it be remote or like allow you to be remote mm. um especially you know if you work at somewhere and you have a decent track record you can pretty much get away with like anything and um i don't really follow rules like that well um so I I was probably going to like make it happen, like even if my employer like tried to say no or something, but it ended up like working out okay. Um, the only thing that's bad about being digital nomad and like working in the States um, is like the time difference like tends to suck. Like right now it's like 1.41 a.m. Um, mm. And normally I'll have like um, my meeting, my daily sync or something like midnight or like 2 a.m. That, that quite, that sucks like, quite a bit. But uh, being able to like, you know, be in, you know, essentially wherever I want is like really, really nice. And you can kind of do, um, I think the word is like economic arbitrage, where, you know, say you're, you make like 60K, for example, and you go to like Thailand, the 60K is like surprise, you now make 200K um, based on like, you know, how much food costs and like rent and everything there. Everything is just like so much cheaper. So your money gets stretched out. And then there's also this thing called like, um, I forget what it's called. It's like a, I forget what it's called. But um, if you, there's like a tax exemption if you work like outside of the contiguous US for, mm -hmm. you know, 330 days out of the year, you don't have to pay like federal federal tax on like the first 110K of your salary. And that is like, that's like a huge amount of money, right? Um, it's like may, potentially like 30 or 40K or something like this, depending on, you know, your tax bracket and everything. Yep. So there's like a lot of, there's a lot of good benefits to it. Um, if you're interested in that, just try to develop yourself as much as you can. I could talk about this at length, but like the better you are, like the easier it's going to be for you to like, you know, have your autonomy, like do whatever you want. Mm. Essentially. Mm. Yeah. I love it. I love it. 